So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monique J and you're watching Makeup by Mo. Thanks for tuning in if you're a first time subby, subscribe. So anyway, I'm going to do a review about the matte book. Yay. So I'm going to do some colors. It's pretty as hell. <laughs> And that's my nephew in the background clapping, because he know. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to do a voiceover for the rest of this um, tutorial, and I hope you guys like it. And give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and comment even down below. All right, let's get into this tutorial. All right, so I'm going into the matte book, and I'm going to start off with the transitional color, um, brown. It's like a brown tannish color. It's more neutral, but this palette don't have any names under the color, so I call them as I go. <laughs> so for my transitional color, we're going in with this brown, and it's a pretty brown. Um, nice and settled. You know, I think they have a one, two, three, four, five, five you know neutral colors that's matte and then the rest of the colors i love this palette it's so beautiful and um vibrant so after i'm done with the transitional color now i went in with like this light burgundy color which is in between the pink and the purple more subtle like a plum purple and um it reminded me of jezebel out of the nubian pilot the color and the color Coco Bear. Um, love that color too. So now I'm going in with my NYX Jumbo Pencil and I'm going to um, prime my lids just to give the uh, color a little more um, something to stick on to base wise. And that's my NYX Jumbo Pencil and the color Milk I believe it is. And I'm just taking my flat end of the Urban Decay brush and I'm just smearing that all over my lid. As you can see, again, I have hooded eyes, so a little tedious for me. <laughs> but I'm sure the more I go and the more I keep doing it, I'll get better and better at it. So I'm just carving, using a brush and just going over it to kind of smooth out away, you know, any pieces that I might have messed up on. So I went to the pilot and I went and grabbed the purple, which is at the very top, which is next to another purple in the beginning of it. It's like a sky blue. Love these colors, guys. Look how well that just stick in there. Like, I didn't get much fallout, you know, and it's just sticking so well. Love it. This palette is great. I actually wanted to get the box of crayons first, but every time I went to order, it was um, out of stock. Even I signed up for the notification for the emails, and even when I get the email, the notification to say that they were back in stock, I would go to order and it was out of stock just that quick. So yeah, she's doing her thing with this. That's, that's This is real nice. Okay, so I went back into the palette and I went into that blue, which is under a purple. Well, it's, it's three rows. You got real light, and then you got a medium light, and then you got dark. <laughs> then you got your mattes. Pretty. So I'm putting that blue in there. And just trying to even it out, you know, on both sides. You know what's funny? One side, I think my left side is a little more difficult to work with versus the right. And I think it's because I'm right-handed. I don't know if anybody else had any troubles, but... Huh, I do. So here I'm just trying to blend out any lines of um, demarcation. And yeah, that works out pretty well for me. <laughs> so now I'm going back in. I'm going into a pink color, which is next to um, that burgundy and that plum purple. And I just put that on the um, outer V. Just very little. I didn't use too much of that. Um, again, I don't have much lid space anyway to begin with, so whatever I create is what I work with. <laughs> but, then get that in there and blend that out. I try to blend it in with the other color too to give it like a, a, a um, what do they call that, a, a ombre effect. 
I don't know. I was just going with the flow. <laughs> but I say it came out pretty, pretty nice. So again, I'm just blending it out. Going over the lines for any part that I might have went over. The hump of skin. <laughs> go up into that transitional color make that fade out a little bit too try to blend it all in and then so now I'm going in with these glitters which I ordered off of Amazon and it came in a pack of 10 with different colors that's what I like about color. You can mix and match, you can go, you know, go with it. Especially if you are um, darker complexion like me. Certain colors, yeah, I used to be insecure to wear about, to wear different colors, you know, bright colors or that. But the older I got and the more I got into learning about our culture and, you know, stuff like that, I just was like, you know what? <laughs> Whoever don't like it, chuck up the deuces. You know what I mean? Like, this is what I'm gonna do. So I got into it. Like I really like, I like to go outside the box sometimes. Well, out my comfort zone, should I say. So now I'm just going in with the blue. Um, the pink is a little chunky on this. So I gotta put something in there and loosen it up. But I'm going in with the blue. Try to line it up. Them glitter sticks are very reasonable too. Not expensive at all. I think I paid $10 for 10 um, different colors. So now I'm going in with my Peacock mask flat, um, Mascara and I'm getting my, lit, my uh, lashes ready for some falsies. These falsies I purchased from Sephora, and they're pretty decent. I love them. And here, this is the the LA Colors Adhesive I'm going to use for it. And that one I actually purchased from um, Dollar General. So now I'm going to go in with my I Am Magic Jewish Lace Foundation, and this is in the color Kano 150. So now I'm going in. And I'm just going to put a little bit of foundation. A little goes a long way. And I'm going to smear that in at some point. Take the Beauty Wet Beauty Blender. Um, it's not too wet. It's not like I ran water through it to let it swell up and then squeeze the water out. Make sure you get all the excess out. So now I'm going in with my concealer from um, Fenty Beauty in the color 440. And I'm going to dab that in and then blend that out too. I'm using my Sasha's Buttercup. Now I'm going in with my Matte Blush from Beauty Treats. So then after I do that, I'm gonna go in with my hard candy. I purchased that from Walmart and I'm gonna put a little bit of that on my cheeks too. To give it just a little more glow. Kind of bridge of my nose, under my chin. And get that in there. So I'm going in my LA color, um, in the color black and I'm gonna do my waterline. Ha, now this, I got it from Sephora too. It's uh, Bare Minerals 
Bare Minerals, and it is a dew mist. I didn't realize that it was dewy because I already have oily skin. So yeah, I won't be using that again. Um, I'm more of a matte finish type of person. It's that oily skin um, will have you going. And now I'm going in to do my hair, and I'm going to take my water and um, mousse that's mixed in a bottle and spray it, get it looking a little alive. <laughs> And I'm going to take my black radiance um, in the color um, rich mahogany and conceal my part a little more to make it look a little more natural and this is pretty much the final look. Found the comb. I was looking for that. <laughs> oh yeah, I take a little bit of my um, Nairobi mousse and spray that around the edges and let that get in there. And uh, not really so much baby hair as I was trying to create, but just to make the front lay a little more um, flat. And this is the final look, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Again, you're watching Makeup by Mo. And my name is Monique J. Subscribe, like, give this video a thumbs up if you approve. Even if not, hey, it was worth a shot. Thanks. Bye.